Welcome to the Chimpanzee video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to get a quick start with Chimpanzee and get your production going. When you first launch Chimpanzee, you will be presented with the welcome screen. Let's close that. You will now be in the manager. This is where you can select or load a schedule or a budget. Chimpanzee comes preloaded with a sample schedule and a sample budget. We will be using these samples for many of these lessons. Okay, to select a schedule, simply click on it. You will be taken to the scene screen. This is where you can enter scenes. On the left, you will see the scene navigator. Select any scene to go to it. On the main section of the window, you can modify the interior exterior field, the set field, or the day night field. Notice the color of the scene will change depending on the day night field. This is information that you can enter manually or import from your screenplay. Let's add a new scene. Select the plus button. Now you can enter all the information you want for this scene. Let's examine a few other things on this screen. You can enter a location where this scene is to be shot here. To add a character to this scene, select the plus button above the character section. This will show you a list of characters already entered into Chimpanzee. To select an existing character, simply select it and it will be added to this scene. To add new characters not in this list, Select the plus button down here. Enter the new name of the character and select OK. The new character will appear in the character list. Select it to add it to the scene. When finished, close the Add Characters window. Let's say you want to remove a character from a scene. Select the Delete button next to the character name. This does not delete the character from Chimpanzee, it simply removes that character from this scene only. If you select the character name in this list, notice that you can now enter detailed information for this character, including casting type, description, sex, age, etc. When finished, close this window. Let's move on and add some props and costumes to this scene. Down here, under the Elements section, you can see a couple of props and a set dressing already attached to this scene. Let's add a costume. Select the plus button above the Elements section. This is where you can add elements to a scene. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see all the elements already scheduled for this scene. I am going to select the Costumes category. You can see three costumes already entered for this category. I'm going to select Napoleon's hat. Notice that the costume pops into the list on the right. Now let's add a new costume. Select the plus button above the Choose Element section. Enter a new costume. The new costume is added to the costumes list and is automatically added to the scene. Close the window when finished. You can see down here all the elements attached to this scene. To enter detailed information about any of these elements, simply select it. To learn more information about characters and elements, see Lesson 3. After you have all your scenes entered and have attached characters and elements such as props, costumes, and set dressing to your scenes, you are ready to start your schedule. Select the Shoot Days button on the toolbar. This will take you to the Shoot Days screen. On the left, you will see your shoot days if they exist. In this sample schedule, there are five shoot days. Simply select a shoot day to see details about that shoot day. For example, selecting this shoot day will show you all the scenes scheduled for that shoot day. The call time for the shoot day 
can be entered here. Select the calendar button. This will show you a new window with your scenes attached to cards. You can rearrange the cards in any order you want. This new order begins with scene three, then scene two, then scene one. When you are satisfied with your new order, select the Save button. You can now safely close the window. Notice the order of the scenes changes here to reflect the new sort order. The next logical question you might ask is how do you add a scene to a shoot day? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the last shoot day. As you can see, there are two scenes attached to this shoot day. Select the calendar button. Select the add scene button. This will show you all the scenes for this schedule with shoot dates next to the scenes that are already scheduled. You can sort the scenes by either scene number or the shoot day. Select a scene to attach to the shoot day. It will appear on the scene sorter. I will select one more scene to add to this shoot day. When finished, close the Add Scenes window and close the Scene Sorter window. And here are the two scenes scheduled for this shoot day. Let's take a closer look at the shoot day screen. Here, the elements scheduled for this shoot day will show you all the elements, props, costumes, set dressing, etc. You can sort this by either the element or the category. And here, you can see all the characters scheduled for the selected shoot day. Now, this is an important note. Notice that you have no way of adding a character or an element to a shoot day. There is no plus button here or here, like there was in the scenes window. This is because you do not add characters or elements to a shoot day. The proper procedure in scheduling is to add characters and elements to scenes which is what we did earlier. You then attach the scenes to shoot days. In this way, Chimpanzee will figure out which characters and which elements are needed for each shoot day. If you want to enter notes for the shoot day, enter them here. Okay, the last thing we're going to go over in this lesson is how to add crew to Chimpanzee, and then how to schedule them for a shoot day. On the right-hand side of the shoot day screen, you will see all the crew scheduled for the shoot day. Initially, crew is entered in the crew module, and we go over that in lesson four. But let's quickly add a couple of crew members from here. Select the plus button above the crew section. This will show you all the crew entered for the schedule. To create a new crew member, select this plus button enter a name, and select a title. Notice that the department automatically populates the department field. When finished, click OK. Now that the crew member is added to the list, select it to add it to the current shoot day. You can then assign a specific crew call time for this crew member. Now we have enough information to create a call sheet. Select the print button. Select the call sheet report. Select the day you want to print a call sheet for. Then click on continue. This will print a simple call sheet. If you want to print the call sheet to PDF, if you are on a Mac, select print just as if you were going to print the report to a printer and select the PDF button on the bottom left hand side of the print dialog box. If you are on Windows, you will need a third-party PDF print utility, such as Primo or Nitro PDF. If you want to sort your crew in a different way on the call sheet, you can do so here by using the custom sort feature. I hope this gives you a basic overview of the scenes and shoot day modules in Chimpanzee and how easy it is to create a call sheet. If you want to take a look at how to create much more professional looking call sheets, go ahead and download Koala 
Call Sheets, our professional call sheet program, which integrates directly with Chimpanzee. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.